In this video, I'm going to explain how to estimate cable tray. Now, Red Rhino estimating software has cable tray and it has labor only. You, so what you do is you make a material list of the cable tray needed, input it into Red Rhino, and Red Rhino displays the labor. Now, you have to get it quoted. Let me show you what I mean in Red Rhino software. Here I've blown this up um, bigger so you can see it and read it, but Red Rhino has a product catalog with thousands of items, and you see cable tray listed here on the left and cable tray hanger. So I'm just going to drill down and click on cable tray. I want to make this the uh, normal size here more so. Okay, I'm going to just move this over so we can read it. And I'm just going to scroll down here. Let me make this a little bit smaller. There we go. This is the actual size on the screen. But you'll see that they have, or we have, cable tray 12 inch, 18 inch, 24, 30, 36. And then they have elbows, right? L's, 12 inch, 18, 24, and so on. So they, so again, you make a material list and go input it here. Now, I'm going to just show you a quick example of how I would input some. Um, so I'm going to just scroll down further so you can see this. Here they also have cable tray T's on the left over here and crosses, okay? And then they have tray drops, you know, the elbow that drops down. Well, that's an interesting sound. Hey, so much for residual noise in my video here. Now let me show you some more. I'm going to... Um, input some 30 inch cable tray in here. Now what you do is you just click in the box and you put in the footage. Let me blow this up again so it gets bigger here. We can see it and I'll scroll down. So let's say I want to I, I want to estimate uh, several hundred feet of 30 inch cable tray. Again I put in the length of it um, and it's going to display labor. So I'm going to put I'm going to say uh, it's 320 feet and there's some other items that I need to input here. I'll scroll down. Again, it's all 30 inch. Let me make this smaller again. I'm jumping all over the place. There we go. So um, 320 feet of cable tray, 30 inch. Let's say that there's eight tr uh, 30 inch L's or elbows or 90s. No T's. But there's one cross, 30 inch, one 30 inch cross. And let's say that there's a 30 inch cable drop, just one. So again, I just put the quantities in here like a laundry list. I click add and it populates the labor over on the right. Now I'm going to save it right here. Now the, uh, when you input materials and it says see quote, that's a, a note to self that you have to get these items quoted. So what I would do is I would send a list of these materials um, to my wholesale vendor uh, to get them quoted. And I would put that quote in here. Now the other thing is I've changed the screen here. I've clicked on cable tray hangers here. So it also has hangers for each of these different sizes. And uh, I put in about 320 feet. I'm going to put a hanger every 10 feet. So I'm going to put um, 32 with a couple extra. I'm going to make it 36 hangers. See that I just put the quantity in here, click add, and, and it populates to the right and I click, I click save. Now again, these line items here, Hat doesn't have a price, unit price, it has labor over here in hours to install uh, per hundred feet. Now also, I won't show you right, right now, but if you need items like Unistrut or threaded rod to um, use for uh, hanging or suspending, um, Red Rhino also has that. So that's it. Um, you can put in hundreds of feet of, of, of your uh, cable tray in just seconds using Red Rhino. Okay, that's it for this video. I stammered my way through it, and now I'm done. Now, I just want to say one more thing. If When I get this material quoted, I'm just going to fly through this, but I'm going to go to the recap here, and there's a place in recap where you put quoted materials. Now, a recap, I won't get into it very deep here, but it's a summary of the estimate. It shows you the total cost and a cost breakdown. This is another powerful tool in Red Rhino. I have other videos on that. But I'm just going to go into quoted materials here. And let's say I got a price on that um, cable tray. I'll just type it in here. Cable tray, I'll put the quote in, let's say it was $3,289, and I click save, 
and it accounts for the quoted materials in my recap. Okay, that's it for Rehills for this video, okay? Uh, call if you have questions, and sign up for our 30-day trial.